How's it going, everybody? Welcome to the last video in the life cycle of these broilers that we raised this past year. Uh, in this video, we're going to go over the processing of them. We're not going to go into too much detail, so just know that there's not going to be any blood, really, for you um, squeamish people who don't really like that sort of thing. There's a lot of videos on YouTube that you can go watch to see how to dismember a bird and how to um, dispatch them humanely and I'll link some of those videos in the description if you want a really detailed step-by-step -step process of how to do that. I'm just going to kind of show you guys what our setup is um, for the scale at which we're raising these birds. We did three groups of 300 so 900 birds total and we split each group up into two days of processing. So we did 150 birds, give or take a couple, on a Friday, and then we did the other 150 from that same batch on a Saturday, which was a lot of work, and that's something we'll probably change this upcoming year, but that's kind of how we did it. And before we get into the video, thank you to all the new subscribers, which hokey jeepers, there's a lot of you. With that said, thank you for watching. Let's get into the video. We started out with hot water. We got hot water from uh, what we call the vet room at our farm where we have all the medical supplies to treat sick cows on our dairy farm and the water comes out at 150 degrees from the water heater. So a little hotter than we want it but it saves us an hour and a half from heating up well water from 48 degrees to 145 degrees. So we just shuttle back and forth with um, this little side-by-side -side we have with some jugs to bring hot water from the vet room up into the scalder. After I put the gas, the new gas light on, I fired it up and it made all the metal bendy. And I'm like, ooh. <laughs> now, raising these birds was a lot of work. Like, a lot of work. It took a lot of work to plan it all out. So just using all my brain cells, all right, I had to rub my last two brain cells together to get some static electricity to spark these ideas together. And just the physical work of building the shelters was, was a lot. And then brooding the birds, checking on them constantly. I was up at like six o'clock in the morning and I checked on them at 11 o'clock at night before I would go to bed and several times throughout the day and same thing moving them. I would move them in the morning uh, before I ate breakfast around 7 o'clock or so. A little later in the summer if it was cooler. But when it's hot you want to move them first thing in the morning. And then I would check on them if it was hot in the middle of the day. And then go and feed and water them at night. Every single day for the whole summer. All the way into September. So it was a lot of work. And we were really looking forward to getting these last birds processed so that we could go back to work. We all we all work full-time jobs, but then we could go back to just kind of the the normal life and it felt like a vacation truly after all that work. I'm looking forward to being done after after this. I said the angel on the way in this morning. I was really dreading today. I still am and tomorrow. Just a lot of work. A lot of work. That's all right. A lot of work. Sorry. You're good. Fine, I'll help. <laughs> I it's scared me a one man job, but it's like Aram and I doing uh chicken. Like can, can you pick up a crate by yourself? You can't. But you shouldn't. Because it it's not good. I'm gonna grab a little more hot water in my back. More yet? So is that not helping them? He is. He is. He'll be here a little. He said 5.15. Tomorrow morning is supposed to be polar. Yeah. Then it's supposed to warm up. It's currently 34 degrees. My goodness, that is free. I feel like <laughs> you guys aren't going to be able to see anything. It's so dark. <laughs> All 
right, we'll load the other ones. All right, ready, Abram? Yeah. So we have a Featherman Scalder. We bought our Scalder and our Plucker together as a bundle from Featherman with the shackle attachment for the Scalder. And that run, that ran us about $3,500. Or three thousand four hundred dollars before delivery freight was another three hundred dollars on top of that and what we got was a plucker that did about three birds at a time uh really good quality worked really well um and we had a scalder it's propane fired it's not electric and we found that a 25 pound uh propane tank would keep the scalder hot long enough to scald 150 birds then we would clean down that whole scalder with hot soapy water, sanitize it, and flip it over to warm up hot water to shrink wrap the chickens in. So one 25 pound uh, propane tank was enough to um, scald 150 birds and package 150 birds with a couple pounds to spare, maybe like five-ish pounds to spare. So it worked out really good. All right, here we go. So I hand it to Abram, like that, and just grab it with one hand. One crate's empty. All right, first crate. Oh, sorry, bird. Thought, never mind, it's, the crate's not empty. It's not your crate, man. No, listen, it's really dark out here, okay? I can't even count. Myself on the uh, Grim Reaper station, the cutter station. My brother Avram was on the scalder and the plucker. And then my brother, my sister, and my dad were on the evisceration table. So there were five of us there from like around 5 o'clock until maybe 11 o'clock. Uh, that's when we got done getting all the birds from the cages into the chill tanks. And then we would switch everything over, and then it was just four of us were uh, putting the birds on the drying rack, taking out any imperfections, any pin feathers, any, like you get kind of get the black pimple things where their feathers get ingrown, like an ingrown hair, but on a feather sometimes. And then we would package them, the four of us, and we would get done at like three, four o'clock-ish. So that kind of gives you an idea of how many people you might need to process the birds you're looking to process. We took a big bite of 150 birds, our first time ever processing, but well, our second time ever processing birds. We went to our friend's house at Baker's Green Acres. I'll leave a link to their channel up here. And they were kind enough to let us come and shadow them for a day. And we helped them process around 100 birds or so. So I got uh, gut a bird and I got to um, cut a couple of them. And so we got some experience that way. But we started out taking a big bite, a big uh, leap of faith in ourselves. And that uh, kind of worked out. So that's about how many people we had on our, um, on our whole process. And for packaging, we only did whole 
birds this year. We did some cutups for ourselves and packaged those using kind of a cheaper vacuum sealer machine, which was okay for what we did for ourselves. If we did cutups on any larger scale, we would want a much beefier machine, something much more industrial that can package a lot more things quicker. But we just did the whole birds uh, this year and we used the Texas poultry bags primarily this year. I think we might use some other stuff, but the Texas poultry bags are very high quality. We only had maybe one of them um, break on us after we dipped them uh, majorly break, uh, there, you might have like some pin hair or some pin feather leaks in them, but very, very minimal leakage on those bags. They're very thick. They're very durable. And when you hold it in your hand, it feels like a quality product. So that's what we use. It worked really, really good. And we use the Scalder sanitized, all scrubbed down with fresh, clean water to shrink wrap those birds. So that is it guys that is the end of the process of growing these broilers it was a really cool experience i'm planning to make a video encapsulating from baby chick all the way to the freezer in one consumable short video that's gonna be really entertaining i hope so look forward to that in the future as well again thank you to all the new subscribers thank you for subscribing that's awesome that viral video I had is over 100,000 views. That blows my mind. It doesn't seem real. That is so many people. That's crazy. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Um, Like, comment, subscribe. I try to reply to as many comments as I can. Um, I'm getting to know quite a few people in the comments, and I'm enjoying that very, very much. So with that said, guys, I think that's all I got for you today. We'll see you in the next one.